Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Wednesday the 20th of December, the local media headlines today. A civic Christmas tree in Camborne has had to be taken down because of repeated acts of vandalism. Cornwall Live tells us that some vandals even climbed the tree and posted video of themselves on social media. On another occasion someone stole the star at the top. A national newspaper had asked if Camborne's was the worst Christmas tree in Britain. Radio Cornwall also has that story, adding that the authorities finally removed the tree on safety grounds. The Falmouth Packet leads with news of the death of a teenager in a car crash near the Norway Inn on the A39 between Falmouth and Truro. The 18-year-old from Roach was declared dead at the scene. Another teenager has life-changing injuries. Cornwall Reports lets off more steam about the great National Health Service takeover, publishing another document obtained under freedom of information laws and revealing that still there has been no risk assessment. A two-year-old draft comprehensive impact assessment warns that transferring commissioning responsibilities to Cornwall Council could cost jobs and could lead to a worsening service, but it also advises that some service levels might improve. Meanwhile, at County Hall yesterday, about 40 protesters who predict the changes will lead to more privatisation called on councillors and officials to leave the NHS alone. Inside, those NHS officials did admit that there was no rush to transfer powers to the council and that there had been no particular reason for the target deadline of the 1st of April. With Universal Credit now rolling out across Cornwall, starting in South East and North Cornwall, the Cornish Times has a warning about free school dinners. The paper quotes the charity The Children's Society, advising that people in receipt of the new benefit could be means tested for school meals, with the result that they'd either have to take a pay cut to still qualify for the benefit, or see their children go hungry. And finally, Pirate FM celebrates its own annual toy appeal, which brought in thousands of gifts to help children dealing with bereavement. And those are the local media headlines today. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.